continuing with my show and tell expedition in the first station. This is probably the best uh, thing in Jerusalem that compares to a place like Whole Foods, a really, really good natural food market. It's called Teva Castel. It is a chain. Uh, but this is probably the biggest uh, of their stores in Jerusalem, at least that I'm aware of. Uh, it's in the first station complex, which is called in Hebrew the Tachna Rishana. And I'll do a short video to show you guys what's inside. If you're looking for, you know, uh, non standard flowers, gluten free, gluten free flowers, or all manner of supplements and stuff like that, this is uh, not the cheapest because something about Israel that's always interesting is that uh, standard medicine is very cheap, government subsidized. When you get into the kind of realm of supplements, and non-doctor prescribed stuff, it becomes less cheap. Um, but this is definitely a great store. Um, I personally buy a lot of stuff from here, like uh, oat milk, I buy almond milk, all that kind of stuff. You can find it in supermarkets, but I really appreciate the uh, variety of products they have in this place. So if you're looking for health foods, inverted commas, and alternative stuff, if you're vegan or vegetarian, in Jerusalem, check out Teva Castel. Not that it's the only place, but it's the biggest place and the place that most feels like somewhere like uh, Whole Foods if you're from the US. They've also got like a really decent amount of eco-friendly cleaning products if you're concerned about what's in the, uh, you know, the chemicals in what you use to clean your home and you want to find more eco-friendly alternatives. Then they have the whole selection here and uh, thanks to the efforts of my wife, we actually only use this stuff at home. This is called another day. Supplements definitely exist in Israel. Uh, for example, you have a whole line of supplements here uh, from this company and you've got also a whole solid range what I will say is that they tend to be more expensive in Israel if you look at this B2 supplement for example it's 75 shekels so a lot of people do order from the internet primarily through iherb.com it's delivery to Israel but you really can't beat doing local shopping when you need something quick so people also definitely are frequent places like this and buy locally and also support of course the local economy by the way I'm recording this on the day that the mask mandate has been lifted. I've actually recorded a few videos today. It's all the same day. Uh, I did a costume change halfway through. So yeah, this is the first time I've actually been inside any form of supermarket or major store in three years. And that's something I didn't mention in the video, that minus a 10 day period, Israel's basically had a mask man mandate, indoor mask mandate going for like three years. So I feel it's really, really weird to be uh, shopping somewhere uh, without, I did mention that I'm gonna keep wearing it in certain circumstances, like if I'm on a bus, with 100 passengers. I probably want to wear it personally, but a uh, place like this, you know, dense, not very densely populated supermarkets, uh, I'm probably gonna just uh, enjoy breathing normal oxygen again. Okay, more Hebrew learning. This says here, Mekarer Tivoni. So in Hebrew, Tivoni is vegan and Simchoni is vegetarian. So this means vegan fridge. And as you can guys see, there's lots of products that are vegan and certified vegan. You've got your wheat bran, oat bran, your grain flax, and uh, vegan cheese alternatives also. All right, I succeeded in finding the product, which I couldn't remember the name of earlier. This is called Yuba. It's bean curd wings. I've actually been like eating this on the regular for the past two weeks. And it's really, really good. It's uh, high in protein. If you do move to Israel, whether you're vegan or vegetarian or just an omnivore, it's probably a good thing to learn nutrition labels. One of those things they like never teach you in old pan, but it's really good to know. Uh, so yeah, it's dense, dense in protein and it's 26 shackles and you get like a whole decently sized tub of it here. So yeah, definitely a really, really good product. We've just picked up a three pack supply, which should keep me uh, protein for some time. I'm one of those people who likes to eat protein at every meal. I hope this little tour of Teva Castel was helpful if you are a health food uh, junkie or you're just keeping to a you know gluten-free or a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet and you're thinking about living in Jerusalem, you're already leaving Jerusalem. Again, this is not the only health food store in Jerusalem, but it's definitely, I think the biggest one by square footage, I'd be pretty sure. If not, it's definitely the second. Uh, there's one in Malka that's pretty big as well, or at least there used to be. Uh, this place is really good. It's in the first station complex. If you happen to be here and you want to get vegan products or vegetarian products, or gluten-free products, did I say that already? Uh, or whatever health food supplements you want, then this is a really good place. And I personally buy here all the time. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. And if you'd like to uh, get more of them, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.